Hey guys, Peter Early here from the Headshot Crew and I've got Maurice Yager from the Headshot Crew with me and today we're gonna to talk to you about a BenQ monitor, the SW271. We are headshot photographers and portrait photographers and skin tones and working in Photoshop and making sure our images look their best is something that's really important. Having a 4K monitor that, that rocks is what it's all about and I am a novice to these I got this I needed help setting it up so having a BenQ specialist in-house here at Peter Hurley Photography in New York is awesome Maurice Yager is based in in the Netherlands and he's here so I took advantage of this and we're going to show you how this sucker works and you're going to be able to see and learn what I'm going to learn so Maurice take yeah. it away yeah so we're going to jump into the palette master element software that comes with the monitor and we're going to start the whole calibration process and uh, like talk exactly about what settings you need as a headset photographer to make your work look the best way possible so you don't have any problems with skin tones in the future because like skin tones is the worst in headshot photography so we're going to jump into the software I'm going to explain all the settings and we're going to make it as painless as possible so I'm going to move over to the monitor I'm going to like start the calibration process and we're going to share the screen and you know exactly what to do going forward. So let me just move over here. We're using an i1 Display Pro from X-Ray. Yes. Uh, but it works with all? Yeah, it has the spider support, it has the X-Ray support, and there's like a, a calibration device setting over here that gives you all the options that are supported by the software. If you don't know what sensor you have, you can, there's a button that says check sensor and it reads out the sensor and you are off to the races pretty much. It also uh, interprets from the monitor which model you have. So this is all gonna be fairly painless and it's gonna be like right there when you boot the software, all this stuff should be like default and ready to go. So there's a couple options that um, you can go either basic or advanced. I usually just go basic because that's like enough. Fantastic. The, the advance gives you like all the bells and whistles and if you are very um, educated on color calibration that's the way to go but usually headshot photographers they just need the right colors and the basic stuff is going to be perfect. Yeah, so you if, if you're like me you definitely want to hit basic. So yes. I'm here to learn and I want to check out this guy in action so get us fired up. So you hit start and there's a cup then on the display settings you have a default for photographers you can either go web design or graphics as well but we're talking to photographers right now so we're going photographers then you have the white point which is d65 uh, that's for digital if you ever want to print your work use d50 because d50 is the color temperature of paper um, this monitor and any bank sw series supports two calibration profiles so you can either so you can both calibrate against D65 and D50 and then use this hotkey puck that comes with the monitor and program the buttons to go to calibration profile one and to go to calibration profile two. So my setup is calibration profile one is my uh, D65, which is digital. And the calibration button two is D50, which is paper. If I ever want to print stuff, I can actually cool. ascertain exactly what it's supposed to look like. For now, we're going with D65, which is probably the, uh, the default setting. Uh, the luminance is set at 160, which is the luminance you want to use when you're working in like daylight environment. If you work out of your basement or like very dark studio, uh, lower the luminance to probably 140. And if it's really dark, go 120. You don't want to have it all the way up. Like some monitors that you buy, not the BenQs, but maybe other ones, they crank up the, the luminance to make the colors really pop. And that's not, that, that actually hurts your eyes. And BenQ has an air, eye care program. And that's like, they want to make sure that while you work on your monitor multiple hours a day, that you don't hurt your eyes and stress your eyes too much and don't walk out of the studio after a full day with a headache because you stare at the screen all day. Fantastic. So we just hit next and now we have options for a calibration preset. So it's a default set at one. There's one, two and three on this SW271 series monitor. If you have a different monitor, you might have different preset options where you can write uh, your calibration profile into. Um, if you ever want to decide to recalibrate your monitor, you can overwrite whatever calibration you had. So it's not fixed in stone. You can always like redo it. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go with one because we went with the D65 profile for the digital. 
the the profile name is I don't know, it's just, it comes up with some gibberish with the monitor and Adobe RGB and all that stuff. Uh, I'll never, usually never touch it. You don't, okay. It's um, just a generic name, you leave it there. Yeah, it's a, and then you can go either version two or version four, I go for version four. No particular reason, it's just like the newest thing. And I'll keep it at matrix. And when I uh, start, uh, hit the button start measurement, there's gonna be a template on the screen if I hit continue, where the program wants me to uh, put the device on the screen. So we'll just hit continue. And so now the template on the monitor shows up and it has like the shape of the calibrator that you're using. So we're using the iDisplay Pro. So we'll just put it right there. If the calibrator comes off the monitor, the monitor can tilt. So make use of gravity. <laughs> so. We'll just put it there, we'll hit continue, and now it starts measuring, and this is about the time that you wanna go for a cup of coffee, because that's, this takes usually like 15 to 20 minutes. And you'll just let it run, and the monitor is gonna flicker and change brightness, and there's gonna be colors on the screen, and it's gonna measure the colors, because this, what this actually does is, it sent, puts a color on the screen, and then the device on the screen expects a certain color. And then the, the, like the difference, that's what's going to be put in the lot that's going to change the calibration. So just looking at differences, like it's putting something out, it's reading it, and then the difference is going to be compensated in the profile. Gotcha. So this is going to take 20 minutes. We're going to speed the process up, obviously, because we don't want to like eat out all this time out of your day. And then when this is done, um, you're going to have us uh, get a report with what the measurements, what the, like the situation from the get-go was and what it's measured and what the delta is between both values. And you can, you have a button to like re, like verify or the calibration. That's gonna do it all over again. And then all you gotta do is pretty much X out of this application because it's already saved into the monitor. Fantastic. The benefit of the hardware calibration with the BenQ is that you actually calibrate the monitor if you have a monitor that doesn't support hardware calibration, you're, you're calibrating uh, the combination of your computer and the monitor. So if you ever change computer, you've got to recalibrate your monitor. I got you. And if, you, like, if you're a Windows guy and, and Nvidia or like one of the graphic card uh, companies comes out with an update, they might mess with your calibration profile because the drivers are gonna go nuts pretty much. Okay. And because it's in the monitor, you don't have that problem. Gotcha. And if you ever do a headshot intensive here and you want to look at somebody's work, they can hook up the, the laptop to your monitor and you ha always have what you expect oh, to see. Wow. That's so, great. so if somebody's uh, during an intensive, somebody walks up to you with a laptop and it goes like, okay, that's a little green. You just hook it up to this and see if it's actually green of, or that his calibration is off. Gotcha. That's so cool. this is the process. It's not that difficult, I'd say. Yeah. It's, uh, you just gotta know which like, buttons to push. Um, if you wanna, uh, if you work with print, um, then do this again for the D50 setting and just select calibration profile two as the preset where you're gonna write it into and then use the, the hotkey puck uh, that comes with the monitor uh, to select between each profile. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. My thing is, is that, guys, I coach a lot of photographers, so I'm trying to elevate everybody's photography. I cannot coach unless they're working on a calibrated monitor. And to have this kind of quality out of BenQ makes me realize that I am working with the best color you know, spectrum or whatever yeah. you want to call it that I can look at to see your work if you're getting coached by me and actually tell you what you're doing. And I can also, when I'm in the studio and I'm shooting, I can look at my work and I can really fine tune it with this kind of level. So for Maurice to be here and do this with me is fantastic. And uh, I'm excited to get this bad boy going and uh, using it on my shoot. And I'm gonna start tomorrow. Why not? Let's go. Yeah, happy That's to very help. Cool. Yeah, Hope. this is awesome. We are the Headshot Crew guys. Check out headshotcrew.com if you wanna get coached like this and make sure you are using a calibrated monitor. And uh, we definitely recommend BenQ products. Thanks for watching.